Good morning. I'm Kevin Ambo, and for the past four years, I was part of an Information Media Literacy, or IML, consultant team in the Surrey School District, where we strategically nurtured innovation and inquiry. The culture we built was willing to take risks because we supported and honoured our trailblazers and removed barriers for them. We highlighted those breaking new ground and invited, invited them to the dinner series and we had uh, Sylvia Martinez ask us the question, what would it look like to have Maker May? With Genius Hour, passion and acquiry based learning steadily growing in the district, there was a buzz of changing practices and innovative ideas. In less than a month, innovative Maker May 2014 was launched. A teacher librarian and IMO rep in each school was asked to join us. They were offered mini maker starter kits to explore with their students, and these teachers became our digital empresarios. Those around them saw the wonder and joined the exploration. Many school administrators ordered additional kits to build further momentum, and the workshops were coordinated with delivery dates to encourage networking between schools. Good themed picture books were identified and shared to encourage a tinkering and play mindset. With 80 classrooms and 82 learning commons, exploring, tinkering and making, the experiences and excitement were compelling and teachers wanted more. We intentionally targeted additional resources in the form of maker inquiry grants. 30 schools were awarded these inquiry grants. In the applications, teachers and students were asked to take a learning adventure with a wide variety of learning and making resources. You can see the full list on my website, iamliterate.ca. The grants included print resources for ideas and professional support, tools to encourage design thinking and storytelling, a variety of building toys, appropriate electrical explorations, safety gear and training workshops, real hands-on tools, lots of consumables to reduce cost barriers to schools, implementations range from Genius Hour projects, mini maker events, lunch and after school clubs, special classes, innovation fairs, as well as maker lab learning spaces. So how did we create a maker movement? It was sparked by a what would it look like question. We took direction from our trailblazers, we empowered digital empresarios, we provided focused inquiry grants, and we continued to grow and expand the existing professional learning networks. In just a year, we grew to host a presentation table at the Vancouver Maker Fair this June. In September, a new STEM Academy focused on maker spaces is launching. I hope you can further expand the benefits of making for your students as well. Thank you.